You know, I guess I want to start with, I'm, I'm standing out there looking at the poster, looking at the For clothes. Bloodshot? No, yeah, exactly. Right that across one. the hallway, yeah. <laughs> no, but you've got these, these demented, uh, 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 I think Fox News called it uh, dangerous. Or something. Mm -hmm. One of them, someone called it dangerous. How did you react? Did you know people were going to react when you started writing this? N not remotely. I mean, it was an incredibly surreal experience. And I think that for anyone who knows me, and obviously, um, like, look, it's, uh, I, I, I get it. I'm, I, I'm a writer. I'm, I'm trying to make stuff that lots of people will see, but I'm yeah. just not a provocateur. I don't wake up in the morning and say, like, I'm going to light this country on fire. <laughs> I've got things to say, and I'm, you know, and I feel very passionately about them. I'm like, I, I, I've always avoided conflict. Um, and the last thing that I want to do is have anybody not like me. I will, you know, I'm afraid to call restaurants for reservations, and they'll be like, sorry, we're booked. And I'm like, uh, so the, the last thing that I wanted to have happen was this. And so it was very surreal when it started to happen. And I wow. think that, you know, um, the, the movie that they were talking about is not the movie that we made. I understand in hindsight, given what the movie is about, yeah. but such a key element was missing from the conversation, which is the movie is not just about, um, you know, elites hunting normal people for sport. It's about crazy conspiracy theories. It's about us believing anything. It's about misunderstanding the other side. It's about the idea of the other side. I acknowledge, and I live in the United States right now, I live in the world right now, that we, these are divided times. Yeah. But I also acknowledge that people don't like being divided. The one thing that people all the way over here have in common with the people all the way over here is, it's not great. Like, we want to be able to go to Thanksgiving again and not feel stress and anxiety with yeah. the people that we love the most. And so, ironically, the hunt was sort of designed to create a space where we could laugh at ourselves, more ourselves than one another. Um, I don't think that the movie is mean. And, and so when this rhetoric started happening around the movie, I was like, oh my God, what have we done? Is that what we did? And then a tremendous amount of relief started to set in when people started seeing the movie and going, oh, the movie's not at all what I thought it was. Oh. And realized what they thought it was was based on more of the controversy because I don't think this movie is controversial. Well, it's just funny because it kind of the movie's giving in to, not to spoil anything, but it's kind of giving in to the, what, ha, what the movie is about. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And now, did you know with your leading character, did you know you wanted to make somebody that's kind of in the middle, someone who's kind of separate. Was that always an idea? I think in our bubbles and the, you know, in the largest, uh, the largest bubbles are the loudest bubbles that everyone sort of feels like we're, we're all shouting about our political beliefs and they're all shouting about their political beliefs and now we're shouting at one another. But for the most part, most people don't want to be in that bubble. Yeah. Most people don't want to be shouting. They just want to, you know, they're worried about you know, the, the things that all normal Americans are worried about, which is our own families, our health, our welfare, whether or not we're going to be able to keep our jobs. Like, you know, I, I have to go, you know, renew my registration at the DMV. That's what's that. That's. And so for Crystal to be one of those characters to say, like, you bad guys keep wanting to explain to me why you're doing what you're doing. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. You're trying to kill me. I'm going to kill you. It's really just as simple as that. You wanted it to be real. So you decided it was. What kind of sick people would even think of something like that? White people. We're the worst. Well, you guys kind of went on an adventure with this film. It's finally coming out. How did this happen? I mean, what, what, when did it strike you that was, I mean, it struck a nerve with people before it came out? When did that, when did you feel it as artist? Uh, well, I can say that, uh, you know, we were in the, we had sort of wrapped production and locked the movie and we're in the very, very final stages of, of sound mixing the movie when kind of everything uh, went crazy. So, uh, uh, yeah, we, it was, I was sitting in a sound stage watching pieces of the movie and saying like, this is crazy. This is, this line in the movie happen is happening to us <laughs> yeah. right now. It's happening in real life. I know. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, yeah. we always knew that it was a it was a crazy, fun, out there idea, and that's what you know was so exciting about it from the very beginning when me and Damon started writing it. But 
I don't think we foresaw the controversy that ended up happening because everyone who had read the movie um, and then anyone who had seen the movie like understood that it was coming from a comedic place and it was making fun of both sides. So I think the thing sort of about that was was that like people who were the controversy sort of came out of people who hadn't seen the movie yet. Well, as yeah. as it does, you yeah, know, people, yes, exactly. I'll hear something here, one word. <laughs> right. But I mean, now, who when you were writing a script, who were you thinking? Okay, who did you want to write it for? What was the what was your ideal target audience? It was really just ourselves. I mean, I think we just wanted. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> to be honest with yeah. you, uh, and and like we love Blumhouse movies and. We thought it'd be really fun to write one, and then when me and Damon sat down, we were just trying to surprise ourselves and make each other laugh by sort of doing the most crazy out there, you know, twists and turns, and like, what if this could happen? And, you know, if one of us was like laughing at like, man, that's the that's that's you may be insane, then we knew we were probably onto something. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, and I feel it. I mean, I wanted to like, because early on, by the time that we you know all started talking together, like I was. I wanted to make a movie. I wanted this to be a movie that I like wanted to watch at the moment, which was something that's fun, something that's a thriller and has like good action in it. Like I genuinely wanted to make like I wanted to watch something that was a bit of a refuge from sort of uh, the our current climate and discourse mm -hmm. that may also kind of talk about it. And um, and I feel like we achieved that, um, f or at least. Uh, for myself, I have fun watching the movie. I'm quite proud of it, uh, uh, and it was and it was uh, it was it was just interesting that it's become you know it's become something that that um, comments on itself in a way. You wanted it to be real, so you decided it was. What kind of sick people would even think of something like that? White people. We're the worst. 